Yeah. Hey folks, my name's Harry Crank. We're here at Florp Studios and I'm going to show you how I put resin on this art piece. We're going to start off by removing all the dust and dog hair that may be on there and touching up any nicks that may have uh, happened during stencil removal and then finish up by removing any other grit. Uh, then we're going to get out our measuring cup, measure out two ounces of the Art Resin brand resin. And then we're going to follow that up with two more ounces of the Art Resin brand hardener. We're going to mix that up for three minutes. It's going to go from kind of a silvery look to a nice clear substance when it's ready to be used. And uh, get your art piece back out. Make sure there's no dust or dog hair on there and get ready to pour. And it's as simple as that. Just drip it right on there. Let it do its thing. Let it expand out to the edges. And basically at this point, just grab anything near, just start pushing it around, you can use a credit card, you can use your fingers, you can use a stick if you wanted, just don't use anything hairy because you don't want any hair or dust or dirt in your resin, or it's going to be quite uh, unappealing at the end. So just rub that into all the spots that you need it, get a, give it a nice coverage, make sure you're on a nice even uh, surface so that it doesn't pour off one side or the other. Make sure you got all those edges, and then we're just going to hit it with a torch to remove all these bubbles here. It's going to bring the bubbles to the top and pop them and give you a nice clear resin coating. After that, we're just going to take our paintbrush, dip it in the resin, and just coat the sides with a nice thin layer of resin there. It's fine. It'll just drip right down to the edge and create a nice outer coating. Then we're going to hit it with the torch again, remove any final little bubbles check for any dust and particles. I see a little dog hair there. I got dog hair everywhere in my house, so we just gotta remove that and then find a nice level place for this painting to sit for 24 hours. After about a day, it's gonna be hard to the touch, but we're gonna need a full 72 hours for it to cure to give you that nice glossy protective coating that you're looking for with the resin. And then this bad boy is ready for a show or for a wall or for whatever you wanna do. So what do you think about it? Do you think it looks better with the resin, without the resin? Let us know in the comments. We always appreciate your feedback. Thanks again. See you soon. Bye.